This modern age has increased the urge for convenience by multiplied folds and receiving services at your doorstep is one of the most integral perks. There are varied types of delivery services and so are the delivery applications supporting the same. The delivery industry is so huge that the food delivery market alone has projected a market volume of 1.45 trillion US dollars by 2027 while there are plenty of other niches of delivery services left. Hence building a delivery application will be a wise and a smart choice at the same time. Since there are multiple verticals in the delivery industry establishing your feet in this arena is pretty challenging. Hence we are here to ease your issue and give you a needful way out. Hi everyone this is Arush from Aptunix and in today's video you will explore a delivery app that will help you kick start your journey in this astonishing industry. By the way don't forget to like comment subscribe and press the bell icon for future updates. So without any further ado let's get started with the video. Dashboard a dashboard is one of the most integral feature of an application. Here the admin can easily manage the required vital information. So here in this dashboard section the admin can have a clear display of all the booking details, the active driver's location and the driver's team details. Beside this the admin can easily assign drivers any new booking whenever required via team booking module. On top of that there is another section in the dashboard known as my profile section here the admin can have a note of business details of the entire panel also we have a change password option so that the admin can change its password whenever required and can also log out of the admin panel booking next comes the booking section we have organized the booking section with regard to gen z needs hence in this section the admin can easily check the booking statuses be it pending scheduled ongoing completed or cancelled requests the visibility of the booking will be clear and precise within this section the admin have access to various other things to manage here in this section you can create a dummy booking for new booking references and you can also download the dummy template for booking with ease and efficiency furthermore there is a booking feature that specifies that if you have complete booking details then the map will automatically show your route direction along with the path and you can also delete and share the booking details whenever needed besides this there is a search and filter option where the admin can easily search certain ids and details pertaining to the zone tags location radius drivers and customer details Finally the last section here is add a new booking where the admin can also add new bookings manually by putting in some details customer moving forward now comes the customer module here you can check the new customer details the total amount along with the credits the block and unblock button the action button here the admin can view and edit the certain customer details the admin also has the access to add new customer whenever required vehicle then comes the vehicle type module This section is basically to assign the kind of vehicle you want to provide your drivers with. You can also add new vehicles, edit one or delete one if needed. Driver. The next is the most important segment of the entire application, the drivers module. This module is used to describe the logged in, logged off and the pending driver screens so that the admin can switch between these tabs. The drivers will be in these statuses throughout. The entire information of the driver will be portrayed in the panel with the personal ID, the driver's ID, the total booking information, the average rating and other information. The admin also has the option whether to block unblock, show hide pricing and allow rerouting option. The admin can check the action buttons by viewing their profile and editing their profile. There is also a search and filter option available from where the admin can check start to end date can search manually and filter out also the admin can add drivers from this button zones after that comes the zone panel which is basically assigned to specific area in geofence for where you are providing a service and you can also add a new zone manually according to your requirement however when you are creating a new zone you can mark the location pointer in the map and is easily managed Besides this the admin also has an access to edit or delete a zone whilst varied information like the name of the location the drivers delivered booking online drivers and unassigned bookings information is also present along with the action buttons as discussed teams 
In the team module, the admin needs to add team members according to the delivery service and driver, which means that a particular team is working on a specific area. Then there is information on teams that include the driver count, the online drivers, ongoing drivers, and pending bookings. Also, the admin has an option to block unblock, show or hide pricing, and allow reroute. Also, the admin has an action button through which he can edit the team and delete a team. The admin can also add team from this button if needed. Pricing. The pricing module includes the detail of booking fares according to the type and the percentage of driver. The admin has action buttons through which he can add, edit or delete a following pricing. Furthermore, while adding a pricing, the admin has the authority to manage the price by base, kilometers, minutes, cancellation and other charges. Reports. In the report section, the admin can check the report of the driver, the payment details and the action button. Further, the start and end date is present and the driver segment is present from where the admin can search the name of the driver and export all of the data in the form of a CSV sheet from C export CSV button. Tools. The next module in the application is the tools module. Here the admin can manage the subscriptions and the admin can arrange the benefits that are needed to be provided to the users. The visibility of the segment like the name, description, amount, total number of bookings, onboarding and inscribed are also present. Here the action buttons are there through which the admin can edit or delete a particular subscription. The admin can also add a subscription if needed. Apart from subscription, there is a surcharge segment. Here, the admin can manage the additional upgrades and the admin can see the following details such as the name, booking count, amounts and start end date. The admin is also provided with the action button where the admin can edit or delete and add a new surcharge if needed. Settings The last module of the quick delivery app is the settings module. We ensure to address every need of a business enthusiast. Thus, this module covers varied segregations. General Settings in this section, you can see the app code along with the App Store and Play Store link. Also, a QR code is present to the link. The login method is dynamic as you can change it from here. From here, you can change the details of the delivery proof, the time zone and the wallet limit. Customize. In customize setting, you can easily manage the images and logos that are showing in the app side or on the admin panel side. This feature also gives an option to choose the color of the app which gets reflected in the admin panel here. Ride Allocation In this section, the admin can change the booking algorithm according to the requirement, which means that there are different algorithms present for the booking requirements that are send to all, the nearest available and one by one multiple bookings. Apart from this, there are options like accept upcoming ride which can be turned off and on through this button and show booking before in which the option is present in minutes and the admin can change the time limit from here. Also, a segment of keeping multiple rides option is present and the admin can turn it off and on through here. Next, we have plugins, API, webhook, billings and tags modules which have their own features over here. Driver documents. Here you can easily add the documents of the driver for verification process. After adding the documents, a new driver can be easily onboarded. Sub-admin The admin gives access to the manager or a trusty person who can handle their project. However, the admin gives access to a person with confined arenas and not all modules. Also in such case, admin creates a super admin and can provide credits to the particular person who can manage it, while the admin can block and unblock a particular sub-admin whenever needed. Custom Forms in this module, the admin will have access to the contact us forms. Here, the user can fill the basic details that are needed and a sign up form is also available, including the distinctive properties. Bank forms. This is the last segment in the settings module. Here, the admin have note of the following account details with action buttons where the admin can delete a particular account and also add it manually from here. This was all about quick delivery app admin panel. As you can see, it was extremely simple to use. So, if you are planning to launch your own delivery platform, I recommend you to click the link in description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business. You can also email us the details or DM us on our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay up to date on our new videos.